uh, I would not be so comfortable walking around with no pants on. Though I will tell you, uh, after having done it for a few years, you, you do get a little comfortable. I was in the park the other day and it was like, God, it's hot. And I just like reached to take my pants off, which thankfully I caught myself. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You got a cool background here. Oh yeah, a gaming background because I do. I also do gaming reviews. Do you play oh, any? No, I. Do. I mean, I grew up playing uh, playing games, but I haven't. I haven't recently, and I think just because I know that if I started, I would. I would never stop. You wouldn't be acting <laughs> if, we, if we, that was yeah, it. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a it's a tool of self-preservation. Uh, I agree. You're doing great. Keep, keep away with the, the video games. Thank you. Congratulations on your new season. It's coming to Argentina. The season three of Ghosts. I started to watch the show very recently. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really into it. I love comedy, and I it was Ghosts. So it was like a big uh, surprise for me. I'm going to start with the question about Trevor. How much of Trevor mm. is in? How much of you is in Trevor? Um, you know, there are some days that I'm like, oh wow, we're so similar, and then other days where I'm like, God no. <laughs> um, I will say he's he's probably a lot more optimistic than I am. He's got this like kind of, he's just always, you know, he says and does some questionable things, but the thing at his core is that he's just a dude looking to have a great time, uh, even in the most boring circumstances possible uh, in the trapped in this house. So there is this kind of eternal optimism thing that, that happens with him, but uh, I wish I had more of, um, but, uh, you know, we're both Jewish, we're both, um, I think there's a probably a puppyish thing that we probably both share uh i would not be so comfortable walking around with no pants on though i will tell you uh after having done it for a few years you, you do get a little comfortable you kind of forget uh the societal norms at moments um i was in the park the other day and it was like god it's hot and i just like reached to take my pants off which thankfully i caught myself um But yeah, it, you know, it's kind of the perfect balance of a guy who I relate to a lot and reminds me a lot of the people I went to college with. So he's kind of like in my heart. But there's also enough of a distance to, to say, oh yeah, I wouldn't say this. I wouldn't do this. You know, he has he's his own guy. path. It's too much. <laughs> Taking a little distance. I'm going to do the question yeah. about the weird wardrobe. Of course, uh, many people have done it already, but... Uh, For us, it's the first time maybe seeing Ghost. You are the pantless guy, you said before. How is it to shoot without pants? It gets easy at some point, clearly. I mean, there's some days that you kind of, you're like, ugh, not today. Can I just, I don't want to. But you, um, it's a pretty great job and it's a pretty great group of people. So, you know, you get over and you dive in. Um, it's, uh, it, 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 yeah, you know, you just get used to the exposure. I would say, and you just have to embrace it. It's part of the thing. And it reminds me of often that we have an amazing crew who work on this show who are always helping me keep things, you know, safe for families. Uh, so it's, it's a group, it's a team effort. Have you ever had an accident where you maybe move in the wrong way? and reveal more than you wanted to reveal while shooting? Oh, yeah. Oh, all the time. But we're, <laughs> that, you know, and it's always this balance because we're like, obviously we're not ghosts. And and so the rules of ghostum is that we wouldn't ever move an object outside of me when I really try hard. So like, th there's a lot of, you know, core muscle work that has to happen to make sure that you're sitting on a thing but not leaning on a thing and, you know, um, So yeah, mistakes all the time, but luckily it's not a play. It's not theater and, and we can always do another take. So we're saved by that. Great. You have a variety of cast. You have a lot of actors and actresses, but also a lot of different characters from different timelines and different uh, approaches of life. Do you have anyone mm. that you like to shoot more than others? Re respecting to the characters, not your uh, partners. <laughs> So don't, we don't get you in trouble. Um, uh, you know, you know, I'm not going to answer that question because because <laughs> it's you know, uh, I can't, you can't pick favorites. That's crazy. I love I love working with everyone. And, and what's fun is that um, 
you're right. Every character comes with its own, own very distinct historical backstory. So, depending on who you're with, you kind of feel like you're in a different universe, you know, because it's it's such a it's such a rich history that is separate from Trevor's history. Uh, so it's always fun, and then we're still we're in see we've shot what fifty episodes of this thing. And there are still some groupings of ghosts that we haven't really explored yet. You know, you get like groups of three, groups of four, groups of five, and we're still finding new combinations. And we're like, oh wow, we haven't done this before. This is a new, a new little, a little click. So, um, what's one something that's great about the show is that there's so many of us, and we get to go deep every once in a while on each one. But it always kind of leaves you wanting more, and I think that applies to us too. Great. What do you think this makes this show so unique over all our comedy shows? I think it's the concept. I think the fact that it's such a like a once in a generation uh, idea for a show uh, that opens up endless possibilities. Um, and I think there's also something I've, I've recently come to this awareness that usually we have this thing in society where we kind of idolize the dead, whether whether they are the ones who have passed. Either they have we we see them as having this wisdom that we. Uh, um, don't have or that they have this insight because they've gotten to the next plane or they you know they understand the larger picture here and our show completely switches that around because our dead are all, all stuck and uh, and little dummies uh, and um, so I think there's something very comforting to see this thing that is very hard to grapple with mortality and, and death and the meaning of existence and stuff like that and really just bring it right by, you know, right down to your, your kitchen table. Uh, and, and we're a little, like all little little Muppets, you know? So I think it's been very comforting in that. And then also it's fun to watch um, history juxtaposed against different, you know, different time periods um, and see these enormous differences and stuff that in a very soft way may comment on today's world, but because we're doing it through history, uh, you know, hating, hating the Irish, you know, is is a thing that at least in this country is not really happening anymore but it does i'm you know hopefully on some level makes people think a little bit about some of their own points of view and uh and maybe in a few years they'll they'll change you know if, if you decades something our or some of our opinions may have changed in the zeitgeist so there's a little bit of um pushing people but for the most part it's it's kind of a warm hug of a show That's a great approach. And I, I thought about it, for example, in the first season when everyone was trying to understand what a movie was. And yeah, yeah you, but then you go to other deep, deeper uh, thoughts. So that's, that's kind of cool. I'm going to ask the ghost question. Uh, I mean, if you were a ghost. Mm. Have ghost powers in the, in the show where everyone interacts with the livings in a different way. If you were a ghost... What power would you choose? Not be so overpowered, please. Remain kind of normal. <laughs> um, I, I, you, you guys haven't seen season three yet, right? No, we haven't seen. It season hasn't started airing. Okay. I think that the the ghost power I would want is probably something. Uh, close to what Sasapius's power is, which will be revealed early in season three. I think that's a very cool ghost power. Okay, nice clip hunger. <laughs> so a little tease there, yeah. Yeah, great. And last question, so we, we can leave you uh, with other things you have to do. If you were to end up as a ghost, and you take it very well, of course, what will, what will be the first thing you will do as a ghost? Um, God, that really depends like where I'm at, where I am. There's so many factors in that. Um, Imagine you're trapped in a house. <laughs> uh, what's that? Imagine you are trapped in a house like your character. Imagine I'm trapped in a house. I, I'd probably go looking to see who who this, who this else is there. I'd probably run around being like, all right, who, who am I now stuck with for eternity? <laughs> to see that's going to be a big, you know, it's going to be a big factor. Yeah. It depends, of course. But yeah. you're going to see if you, mm -hmm. have, you are alone there or trapped for eternity or you have some companions. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, thank you, Asher, for this interview. It's been amazing talking to you. Congratulations on how good the show is and how good it's going. Congratulations on season three. We're going to see it really soon here in Argentina. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's great meeting you. It's been, it's been great. Thank you. Thank you so much.